We've also tried to give you a feel and sort of a, well, a look at Southern California. And many visitors of this area stopped to see a place called the La Brea Tar Pits. The history of this unusual geological formation is really interesting, and Jack Whitaker has a report. 40,000 years ago, in the area now known as Southern California, seething lakes of tar boiled from the Earth's depths. Giant animals screamed to one another as they roamed the land. The Earth was owned by mastodons and mammoths, and they were ruled by the tar pits which entrapped them. Eventually, the climate would change, and the animals disappear, and man would come into the area from the north. The pits yielded one human body, called La Brea Woman. She is a piece of the puzzle of the past. The land finally succumbed to the will of man, who would find abundancy here and a soothing climate. The first inhabitants of Southern California were the Indians, who lived relatively undisturbed until Russia and Spain made explorations into the area around the year 1500. In the 1700s, Spain took California for the Spanish crown. They founded missions along the California coastline, connecting the territory and Christianizing the Indians. And on September 4th, 1781, the city of the Queen of the Angels was born. Eleven families founded the Little Pueblo in the abundant valley. A warm and thriving community began to live the history that would shape California as we know it. For some 40 years, Mexico would rule the area. It was a festive and colorful period in California's history, one whose Mexican flavor lingers today. In 1850, California became the 31st state of the Union. An arid land in parts, frontier towns sprang up as California came to be known as the land of opportunity. The lure of gold brought thousands of dream seekers in the hopes of striking it rich. To this day, California is seen as a promised place where dreams turn to gold and where dreams can be broken. In the early days, however, the land did not yield easily. Not until water was pumped into the sun-baked earth could it truly be conquered. With water, Southern California blossomed with oranges and other citrus and fertile beds of flowers. From the earth also came oil, and there were more riches to be had from the land. And if they didn't flock to California for fortune, they came for fame. Hollywood became known around the world as the motion picture capital, where stars were discovered and glitz and glitter were a way of life. Today, California is still a mecca for the entertainment industry, for other business ventures, for the opportunity to pursue a dream in a climate warm with possibilities.